Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, and the Marks of the Apostles and others of Great Millstone. And salutations to the full elect. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson about it is important to know the name uh, of the Lord. All right. You know, first, I'm going to start with Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath the skinned up into heaven, or the skinned who hath gathered the wind in his fist, who hath bound the waters in a garment, who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name that thou canst tell? And, uh, and, uh, you know, the, the Most High and the Messiah, and, you know, they have a name, all right? And, and, and their name is, uh, it, the, the Most High's name is Yahweh, which is in Hebrew, all right? Means, uh, he, uh, he exists, all right? And his, the Messiah's name is, is Yahweh Shai, which is also in Hebrew, meaning that he saves, all right? And, uh, no, you can't call upon Jesus. You can't call upon Allah. You can't, uh, you can't call the Lord any of these other false names, all right? Because, hey, you know, the Lord is just not going to hear you at all. Matter of fact, you're actually, uh, yeah, uh, matter of fact, you're, um, <clears throat> You know, uh, you will be uh, technically, if you, if you know uh, what's the Most High's name and the Messiah's name, you're still calling upon Jesus. Basically, you're blaspheming the uh, the Lord, really, at the end of the day. All right. <clears throat> Bring out Psalms 91. Oh, it's lucky. Psalms 91, chapter. 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. And hey, you know, that goes to show you that knowing the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is important, alright? Because hey, you know, we, we, we pray unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. How is the Lord supposed to hear you if you're not calling upon the right names? Alright? Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. And, and, and they, uh, even in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely going to uh, have to call upon Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, when, when all hell breaks loose. Because uh, the Lord is the only one that can save you. All right, no, no other gods, you know, uh, you can't call upon these other names all right because the lord is not going to uh listen to you if you're uh calling him all these other names all right even the scripture says that there is no salvation in any other all right this is acts chapter 4 verse 12. neither is there so oh it's lucky um, yeah acts chapter 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Alright, it goes to show you that there is no other name. Alright, so you must be calling upon Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Proverbs 18 and 13. And hey, uh, all, these, all these other gods, alright. All these other gods that these people in the world they pray to, you know, these other gods are really are, are just uh, not real at all, all right? But here is Isaiah chapter 20, chapter forty-two, verse eight: "I am the Lord; that is my name, and my glory will I not give to any other, neither my praise to graven images." Behold. The former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. And hey, you know, the, the God on, in the Bible, all right, which is uh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, 
is is, is the only one that they can uh, they can tell you through through the scriptures of the things that are that are come to pass. All right, and and such as these prophecies, all right, that are being made manifested. All right, you you, you read all these other books, you know, you read all. Uh, you know the you know these uh, false guys. You know they didn't. You know these false guys are um, have no power in them. But hey, look, you know the the, the scriptures are right, which is the word of the Lord. All right, they they're speaking out truth, because we see the prophecies that are coming to pass. All right, this is this is how we know that that the that the that the Lord, all right, is 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 uh, is real. All right. All right. The scriptures also say that the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Isaiah forty-five and four. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though has not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird to thee, though has not known me. All right, there is no, there is no God beside uh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, it tells you plain in, in in verse five, right there, verse six. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, and that there is no none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. And they, uh, you know, the Lord, he, he created everything basically, right? He created, uh, created, he formed the light, or he creates uh, darkness, or he created the, the good and the evil. All right, hey, right. that goes to show you that you know in this, uh, you know in these precepts right here that there is no other God besides Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's go back to Isaiah forty-four, Isaiah forty-four and six. Last but not least, all right, it says, "Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel." And the, his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. And hey, you know, the time is going to come, you know, which is prophecy that the Lord is about to return in, in a chariot, all right? And the Lord is about to crack those clouds. And and when and when people look up, all right, every eye shall see him, all right? And they're going to realize that the God of the Bible is... Is a is a so called uh, black man, all right, and and his name is Yahushai. That will be returning to the earth or which he made. But anyways, that was just it to the lesson. I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai, and Shalom.